Hi Year 6, it's Miss Wilcox here again to talk you through today's English lesson. We hope you really enjoyed Titanium last week. We really enjoyed receiving your work that you sent us, so thank you for sending that in and thank you for the effort and dedication that you've been putting into your writing. This week we've got something completely different for you. We are going to be looking at two poems this week. The first is from Monday to Wednesday's lessons, and that's the poem that I'm going to talk you through today. So I'm just going to share my screen with you, and the poem will pop up. So the poem is called These Are the Hands by Michael Rosen, and it's a poem um, a written about the NHS, which for their 60th year of service, which is very appropriate for the time, our current climate, because our NHS frontline workers are out there helping to fight the coronavirus every day. So we thought this was a good um, poem to choose this week. So I'm going to read it to you and then we're going to look at the structure of it. These are the hands by Michael Rosen. These are the hands that touch us first, fill your head, find the pulse and make your bed. These are the hands that tap your back, test the skin, hold your arm, wheel the bin. Change the bulb, fix the drip, pour the jug, replace your hip. These are the hands that fill the bath, mop the floor, flick the switch, soothe the sore. Burn the swabs, give us a jab, throw out sharks, design the lab. And these are the hands that stop the leaks, empty the pan, wipe the pipes, carry the can, clamp the veins, make the cast, log the dose and touch us last. So, if you also go onto this link, which is on your home learning diaries, you can actually listen to Michael Rosen reading this poem himself, so you can hear it exactly how the poet designed it to be heard. Let's have a quick look at the structure of the poem. You probably noticed, as we read it, that each stanza starts with the same line, a repeated phrase. These are the hands. And the last one starts with, and these are the hands. Um, we also then have a list of things, and the hands they're talking about are the NHS workers' hands, like their actual hands. So we then have a, a list of things that NHS workers do. They, they touch us first, they touch babies first as they are born. They fill, fill our heads if we've got uh, if our heads are poorly, they find our pulses and they don't just do all these medical things, they actually make our beds if we have to be in hospital. And as you read it through, you can see all the different things that NHS workers do for us, or for people that need them. There is a rhyming structure, although I'd just like to say now that your poem that you're going to write is not today, but tomorrow, um, it doesn't have to rhyme. So if you want to try and make it rhyme, that's absolutely fine. I'm just telling you that poems don't always have to rhyme and sometimes when we try to make them rhyme they sound a bit funny so if you don't want to make it rhyme that is fine but if this one does have a rhyming structure I don't know if you noticed it but that touch us first that fill your head find the pulse and make your bed and then we've got tap your back test the skin hold your arm wheel the bin change the bulb fix your drip Pour the jug, replace your hip. So every other um, line rhymes. So lines two and four rhyme. Lines two and four. Lines two and four, if we sort of split this stanza in half about there. So if you want to challenge yourself to put that rhyming in, you can, but please don't force it in if it doesn't feel right and you can't think. Each of the things that it's saying that the NHS hands do, i.e. like fill your pulse, find, uh, fill your head, find the pulse, make your bed, tap your back, test the skin, hold your arm. The majority of them are three words, aren't they? Fill your head, find the pulse, make your bed. Okay, there are a few extra words in there like that and and, but the majority of them are three word lines. Okay, so that's what we've got about the structure of the poem. And what you're going to do this week is you're going to write your own version. It can be about the NHS, but it doesn't have to be. Um, we are recommending that you can choose any organisation that you would like to write about. 
Some ideas might be schools, might be the fees of the hands at schools and what your teachers and your teaching assistants and your midday supervisors and your kitchen staff and all the hands at school, that what they do for people. It could be our supermarket workers, it could be your parents, um, your adults at home, they do, um, parents or carers, they do all sorts of um, things for you every single minute of every single day. So you could be thinking about what they do with their hands to help you. I'm going to give you an example um, that I thought of this morning that could be about farmers. So this is what you're going to do today. You're going to pick your thing, you're going to write it in the middle and around it you're going to make a mind map of ideas of things that that organisation or group of people does. So farmers, they milk the cows. What else do farmers do? They sow the seeds. Um, they might collect the eggs. Okay, I have thought about these a little bit before I've written them on here. So it, they might, these things might not come completely like in seconds, but you have to think about what else do they do. You might begin to think, well, if you do want it to rhyme, or oh, well, what could rhyme with egg? I can't really think of anything. Or what might rhyme with seed? Well, feed rhymes with seed. So I might write something like um, deliver the seed, deliver the feed. Not toe. <laughs> deliver the feed. Do you see, see what I'm doing? I'm thinking about all the different things. I haven't put them in any sort of structure or order yet. I'm thinking of lots of different things that farmers do. You probably won't want to do farmers, but as I said, you can pick anything that you want. It could be your football coaches, it could be your dance teachers, it could be your gymnastics coaches. Um, anything that you do that you want to talk about the hands of the people that um, support that and help you in that. Okay, so that's your learning for today. And then tomorrow, you're gonna to be turning your ideas into a poem based on Michael Rosen's poem. And on Wednesday, you've got some links to watch of different poets performing their poems. And you're gonna have a go at performing your poem that you've written and uh, taking a little recording of that um, for us to see. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, let me stop share so you can see me. Um, I hope that all makes sense and I hope you enjoy doing this poem 